Hello guys and welcome back to Madfire on channel. So in this tutorial series we are going to create a simple puzzle game. In this series we are going to check 8 direction swipe control which will be used to move our player level generation from level data then grid system and many more things. The entire project is available on github the link will be in the description and if you want premium version of this project which has extra features in it like add mob unity ads level editor 100 plus ready to go levels then you can go to my patreon page and get the premium project and in this way you will also support this channel so without any further delay Let's get started. Okay, so now uh, we have our brush which can move, then we can show our connection and we also can undo that connection. So let's add some label. So for that we will create a new script and we'll call this level script table data so level script table data double click to open it in editor now this uh, script will be a script table object so first we will add it in our namespace So here we made our script inherit from our script table data. Then we created a attribute create asset menu where we give our file name level data. Then we have this menu name and we have the order. And here in this script we are basically uh, structuring the uh, label information. So what will be the grid size? So here we have width and height. Then we have this vector to int for storing our brush start coordinates. And then we have the list of connection. We call it complete pattern. And this information will be used to create our level. So let's go to our level manager. And here at the top, we'll create a serialized field. So serialized field private list of level scriptable data and we call these maybe level scriptables okay so the reason we are using list is because we can have multiple uh, datas right okay so let's save all these things and go back to our editor and in our editor we will create the level scriptable data so we will store it in our resources folder so in line paint, I'll uh, right click and create a new folder and let's call this resources. Uh, you can save this information in folder with another name as well. So it's not necessary to use resources folder. Then in resources folder, we right click, we go to create. And here you can see we have the option now scriptable objects. In that we have this create level data. So let's click on this. And you can see we created a level data so let's give it a name level data one and here we have the option for our width for our height for our brush start coordinates and a list for our uh, correct pattern okay so let's check an example so as you can see here we have a grid of three by three okay so now we can say that 
the name of this cell is 0 comma 0 this one is 0 comma 1 and so on okay so these are the cells and these are their uh, positions now if you want to create this pattern you can see this line is a connection between cell 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 then this line is a connection between 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 and so on so we have to add this information in our uh, uh, data so let's go to unity and let's say our width is 3 by 3 let the brush start coordinate be 0 comma 0 and for our complete pattern you can see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we have 8 connections so i will just set the size to 8 okay here we are not getting our connections so let's go back to our level scriptable data hold control and click on this connection and it will redirect you to the script so here you can see in our connection our start coordinates and end coordinates both are private and that's why we are unable to see them in our inspector so we have to make them show in our inspector so we can add an attribute called serialize field and let's copy this and paste it here and this should work so let's go back okay as you can see here we have now this option okay so let's add the information so first connection is between 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 so here we have 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 then the second is 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 so it is 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 so the way you write this thing doesn't matter you can even write the start coordinate as 0 comma 2 and 0 comma 1 because in script we will make sure that we check them in both the way then the third will be 0 comma 2 and 0 comma 1 so 0 comma 2 sorry it is 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 2 so you can see here is so like that we will add all of these So here I have added all the connections we require. So now let's go to our level manager and here you can see we have this list. So let's set the size to 1 and let's drag our level data here. So now we have our level data. We also need to show the complete pattern as a solution to our player. So for that we will create a new camera and we will call this solution camera. Okay. Then let's reset the position and let's go to a 2D mode. So here I will make its Y to 5 and it won't be a perspective, it will be an orthography camera. Then we will rotate it on X axis by 90 degree and it will have a clear flag depth only. Okay, and we will move it somewhere here. Let's set the X to 60 then we need to create a ui we will create a panel and let's uh, set the alpha to zero for this image and this panel we will call this game panel and in game panel we will have an image a raw image which will basically show our solution so we'll create a ui raw image and we'll call this solution image okay and this will be a square no doubt and let's move it up so we can move this uh, select this rec tool and then move it up and let's drag this thing here or you can just drag it here because I have seen that when the resolution of the screen changes uh, this size try to scale if we use the anchor at the edges and we don't want that we want the this uh, scale or the resolution should be square only so we anchor it at the center only okay 
if you select this solution this will be a solution camera okay so in solution camera we have this option called target texture and in our solution image we have this option called texture for our raw image so for that we will create a new uh, renderer texture and we call this solution text okay and then we go to our solution camera we drag our solution text here and we drag it to here so basically what it does is whatever this camera sees is shown here so if i go to my camera and uh, if we create a let's create a 3d cube okay and i don't know whether you can see let's make it 60 0 0 okay so let me zoom can you see here uh, you can see here we are able to see this cube here so right now you can see there are multiple cubes it's just because we just move our cube and it has uh, like captured all the positions like some of the position basically so this is how we will uh, showing our solution so let's delete this thing so let's go to our level manager and let's create our solution first so for creating our solution we'll create a new method 